This is a non-calculator question three from the May 2019 U.S. exam. College Board gives us a table of values for a linear function, and they ask which of these could define that function. Since I have choices, I'm going to try plugging in values. And since I know College Board likes to make the first point work for most of your choices, I'll usually pl plug in the last point. So if I try 2 times 8 is 16, minus 3 is 13, that's not 19. Since the last point is not on the graph of choice A, A is wrong. What about 3 times 8? That's 24 minus 5 is 19. That worked. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 minus 7 is 25, which is not 19, so choice C is wrong. And 4 times 8 is still 32. And 32 minus 9 is 23, which is not 19, so choice D is wrong. Choice B is the only choice where the last point is on the graph of that equation, so choice B must be my correct answer. Alternatively, if you don't like guess and check, which I am a big fan of guess and check because it's fast, we can also find the slope. The slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Be careful, the common errors, and they are very common, are flipping your slope and putting the x's on top, or flipping the order of the x's and not the y's. In this case, our slope m is, let's take the slope from x equals 4 to x equals 2. So h of 4 is 7, h of 2 is 1, over 4 minus 2. Notice my y's are on the numerator, x's are on the denominator, and I have the same order. The point 4, 7 is first, the point 2, 1 is second. So my slope is 7 minus 1 is 6, over 4 minus 2, which is 3. The slope is 3. Since choice B is the only choice with slope 3, that must be the correct answer. There's often many ways to solve these questions for College Board. Just choose the one that is the most fun for you because the SAT is supposed to be fun. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.